All right, guys, what is up? What is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the tight ends of the 2019 NFL Scouting Combine run their 40 yard dashes. Okay, we've only got one group left after this, and I believe that is the uh, wide receivers. So I'm really looking forward to that. But with that being said, I thought I'd bust out my, uh, my Jared Hayne uh, jersey. And Jared Hayne was uh, an Australian rugby league player who, who went over to the US about three years ago and uh, tried to chase a dream and become a NFL running back as a rugby league player. Very similar to the journey that I have somewhat been on, although I haven't been you know, playing of course, but as a rugby player, you know, looking at the style of a running back and, and sort of putting two and two together and, and you know, looking at the similarities and watching a game of football, watching a running back, how they play and just, just thinking in my mind, fucking hell man, I've seen so many rugby players do that kind of thing. If only they knew the playbook, if only they had the confidence, they could carve up. You know what I mean? And so I was really disappointed when uh, Jared Hayne left the league. But that's enough of that. I just thought I'd bust it out today because in the previous video I, I wore a Tom Brady jersey for the quarterbacks and the one before that I wore a Leonard Fournette Jacksonville Jaguars top for the running backs. Today we're watching the tight ends. I've got no tight end jerseys so we're going with Jared Hayne from the 49ers. So like I said, I come from a rugby background. Some of you guys may know that. Some of you guys may be here for the first time, I, although I doubt it. Uh, today we're looking at tight ends in the NFL. I'm coming as a rugby player. I'm doing, giving my critique on what happens, what I see, how fast they are. I'm thinking a tight end, anything above six foot five and having a 40 yard dash below 4.8 is getting up there. So with that being said, it's about time we get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is oh. Dash. 4.96. a little time between now and the last Thursday in April. 4.76. That's decent. Round. Yeah, that's decent. What? 4.51? What the fuck? How big is he? 4.51. He should have gone with the running backs. Nah, he needs to extend his stride a bit more. For Zach Gentry. Whoa! Whoa! Blow me down! This kid's... What are they gonna say, this kid's... Tough. He's tough. Well... I don't know what happened with the start. Hopefully he's, he's gonna do a little bit better with the second attempt. But I would assume that this next guy's gonna get around about a 5 second 40 yard dash. 492 for Zach Gentry. This kid's tough. You can see him on punt coverage. Go down and make some tackles. 4-9. At 5 on your draft board. He is a murderer. 4-7. Mmm! Yeah, busy offseason. It's, it's, it is really, it's, it's quite, um, quite surprising. Some of these guys who are really tall with quite long, long uh, legs and arms. When they're running, it looks as if they're running slow, but then they cross the line and they're, they're doing it in like 4.7 or 4.65 or something like that. And you think, there's just no way. But it's because the body is just that much bigger. Each step doesn't look as fast, but the length in which the stride is gonna be is a whole lot further. So you've got a guy like Christian McCaffrey, he's got no choice but to run fast and, and have his legs moving as fast as they do to get a 4.5 because he's you know, five foot nine or five foot eight, whereas a six foot six guy, his stride length, I mean, look at, you, look at Usain Bolt, you know, fastest man in the world, but I guarantee he takes a whole lot less strides per race than his competitors. Four, seven, one, he's looking for comparisons. Real kind of macho man. Randy Savage. Shredded. Are you serious? Just, he just played with the energy and an attitude in the run game. I just think like, compared to the Macho Man. I'll just defeat the production for none of these guys. is real high, but they're good players. Looks like half full Bjornsson. Feed as he goes through this 40. <laughs> this comes at a good time. Solid. <laughs> 
It's got a nice style. Big test. Eat those people. Drew Sample. Irv Smith. Oh, I Good. I'm back with Caden Smith. Go, Caden uh, Smith. Stanford. And Matree, he runs 494. Well, at least you got under five, that's all I can say. He doesn't really separate when you study, but he catches everything. A ton of contact catches in the middle of the field. Here's Jay Sternberger. We were talking about him at the open of our broadcast. 476, Texas AM. BC Sweeney. Sweeney, everybody. Look at that mullet. Physical block. Go, son. <laughs> Should have San Jose now. Here's well, it's actually, it's not really a mullet. He's probably shaved his head and just grew it all out. Sorry, Eagles sorry, stage. mate. Just to see this one. He's all a wearing. He's a big, athletic kid. Oh, yeah. TE21 in your program. It's Caleb Wilson. UCLA. Shot, bruh. What'd you get? Castle is hand time right now. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Jesus. So they've got someone sitting on the 10, on the 20, and at the 40 with a hand timer. Graphic system. As well as the electronic timer. With 498 hand time from Charlie Castle. Is that Charlie is up there, right? Right. You got to mix in a couple of your seats. I see. Brown. Just to give Charlie time, we got a graphics. Consistent. Guy. From Omaha, Nebraska. Shows Iowa because of their program history of churning out tight ends. Offense and having so much belief in fit that he can, he can get it going defensively. And they got somebody. Jesus Christ. Daniel Helm, work on your start, mate. And they got somebody. See, he, he's, he's gone, he, he's, he's put a slight, his, his back foot sort of goes into the grass a little bit. I think it slows him down, I'm not sure. Let's, let's see what happens. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. He's leaning too far backwards. He needs to be leaning forwards. So when he leaves off, he's already in that forward motion. You know, for these bigger guys, that's so important. But really, how, how important is a 40 yard dash to a tight end? Actually, it's probably pretty damn important. I have binocular, quarterback <laughs> binocular. 498 for Daniel Helm. You're pretty much a big receiver, aren't you? Jay Hawkinson. He's kind of building the speed. <laughs> Last year on that, I like that graphic. Here's Mac of Notre Dame. He said he was fa faster than that, and he ran the same time according to our unofficial time. It's kind of like the yellow line. During a football game, unofficial. Foster Moreau, 4 6 6 the first time. The LSU Tigers, second time. Still good, we'll take that. Okay. Isaac Nada of Georgia. This stance is kind of goofy, he didn't get going. I mean, nah. Did not. No, he did exactly what I talked about in the last one. He, his foot went back before he left the line. Let's see a sec. Let's have a look at it. Still good, we'll take that. Okay. Isaac Nada of Georgia. You know what I mean? This stance is kind of goofy. He didn't get going. Kind of goofy. I see a, did not see a second year. Josh Oliver, San Jose State Spartan. He doesn't look very tall for a tight end. Let me see. Josh Oliver. Let's go O. Josh Oliver from San Jose is what? <laughs> Six foot five. Why does he look short? Good numbers. Okay, Dax Raymond. Oh my God! What's going on here? Utah State. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see if anybody's beaten there first time. Not yet. Drew Sample. Somebody a lot of teams you talk to have pegged as their middle round option there. As you compare to O.J. Howard from Alabama a few years ago, O.J. Howard's taller, faster. Come on. 
Smith makes it better. Rob Brown, there's no such thing as the office. Oh, okay. Language is there is no office. Not baseball. Had a long off season. They offer him. 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 They been getting sick of this by now because it's my fourth, my sorry, my fifth video in a row looking at 40 yard dashes, and we got one more. Okay, one more. So stick around. The next video we're looking at the wide receivers, best of the wide receivers, and then following that, I'm going to do six more videos looking at the workouts from all the different positions. So stick around. If you've liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe and you haven't, what are you doing? And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.